All right, everyone, welcome to D2B TV. So, we're back from Anfield. It took us uh, about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Which is always great. We should listen to the traffic. You'll hear us uh, going by, uh, by the window now. Been shock out so for a while now. That's why I'm still here. Yeah. I'll have stay and let the cars die down and then before I go home. But, <laughs> yeah, did you all watch the match? What do you think of it? And what do you think of a bit of a scare for Robbo's injury? That's going to be one of the talking points, really. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, we had, an, we had a right view of it where we were sat, obviously halfway up the main stand, looking straight down on it, and we knew straight away that it was bad because we could see that he wasn't moving. And at first, and then I could see him looking up and going like he was in shock. That Robbo has a dead expression in his face, and you could see that he was, he knew it was something bad. Good, the good sign was that he got up and that he didn't go on the stretcher. But at the same time, you know, Jamie Carragher walked off once with a broken leg and I don't think he came back for six months, so I'm worried about it, if I was going to be honest with you. But it was great, a more positive side to be back at Anfield and to also hear the atmosphere, which was really good in the first 20 minutes. I really thought it was, you know, sexy friendly. Yeah. But yeah, so what did you think of the game? Just get your comments in. Good evening, Lee. Had a great time at Anfield today. It was brilliant to see all so many kids there, wasn't it? Such a great thing to see kids there, seeing their heroes for the first time. Like I, didn't, I didn't see the injury really because I was in the Annie Road, so I was quite far right yeah, at the other end of it. But um, you could hear, you could hear the scream of it, couldn't you? Like the, the noise. Oh yeah. The, uh... And you always know it's a bad injury when the players go over. Yeah. Because that uh, players stand and watch, don't they? And they go, he ain't got up yet. As soon as you see it, he ain't got up yet. And then you also know what player it is. But if it James Milner goes down. And don't get back up, you know. Yeah. You know something ain't right, right? Well, we, we were, I was saying, talking to some fellow next to me, and it was like, we were looking, and it was just to see what number it was, because it was just like, obviously, it was yeah. bad, but at least it weren't number four as well, because if he would have went down, oh, just, that's the, man, the crowd would have got pinned yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, you just reminded me, actually, it was absolutely brilliant. The, send, the, the actual stand innovation that Virgil took when he came off on the yeah. hour mark was brilliant. I tell you what though, I've got, to, I've got to say this and I've said this, my mum loves him, my mum loves his little lad that plays the AFC Simba as well, my mum's got a good eye for a player, like Billy McCarthy, anyway Harvey Elliott, my mum said, she can't believe how good he's now, we had a great year again from the main yeah. stand of him, he just like ducking and diving on his left and right foot and then he hits his left foot and it bends straight off well, the I was, bar, I man. could see it because we were sat behind it, like, yeah. oh, oh, honestly, he's just so good. And do you know what? I was talking to a lad from Topstep who was just a couple of rows in front of me, and I was saying that Stuart Downing, who's just recently retired, who we paid 20 million for under Kenny Dog Leash, said that for Blackburn he was the go-to player. I mean, to be 18 years old, that good on the ball, and be the go-to player. Why do our fans, some of our fans, always demand signings all the time? Why not give Arvielic the chance to be that lad that can play? He's he, he done well today. He did Arvielic. brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Very well. And at the end of the game. And then it looked by the way. Like no, no. He he, at, the end of, at the end of the game, he, he was he was the last player to leave leave the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clock looked behind, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Klopp's signature, by the way. Klopp yeah. likes to go off at last. I, I said to him, I said Klopp always goes off last, and yeah. then Arby just Arby, yeah, was milking just, it. He was just walking right around <laughs> everywhere. And then um, about three rows in front of me, Allison gave a shirt to a. To uh, someone, and he would obviously made the day, and then you could see how happy they were. Um, so yeah, it was great to see Allison as well. He second half when he come up to the Anfield Road, and then he he realised you could see how much he loved having the fans back. It was just to oh, see yeah. that, like, yeah, yeah. Even and Klopp. I mean, one uh, one thing I was laughing at was it, it, it was Klopp. You thought it was a friendly today. He was arguing the fourth officials about fouls not being given. But Joe was great. I was shouting at the screen at the ref and no, I didn't take it as a friendly and no, I was honestly, thinking, honestly, this has probably been the best 48 hours for me personally in, 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 within football for the last 18 months because, you know, I think that I said this on the way back in the car yesterday, back from the AFC FA Cup win we had, that it's the first match that I've been to where I didn't feel like it was a pandemic anymore and that was the same. Yeah, yeah. There was none of this social distancing or masks on it was just kids enjoying themselves football back on the noise of anfield it wasn't even a covid test there was, no, yeah, there was nothing we said to the steward before the, we went in do we need a covid test and he said well no no the steward she was having them. Yeah, yeah, yeah she was not even doing them so yeah, honestly everybody was panicking about this covid stuff and all that do you know what go to the match if you're going tomorrow and just enjoy yourself it was delayed today but it wasn't delayed because it was liverpool's fault with ticketing it was delayed because supporters didn't really know what they were doing and I reckon it's ones that no no disrespect to them it's ones that have not been before and you can understand they yeah, don't know yeah. where they're going and stuff like that so you had a lot of people queuing up we, in the wrong turnstile yeah yeah, yeah. So it, it was newcomers today and I, that's what I loved about it but it was brilliant and do you know what 
the only down downside is Robo. Let's hope Robo's ain't as bad. But I've seen, we just watched the video on YouTube, and I put it up on the group. It's shot. on the group now, and it looks like if he hasn't snapped his ankle, he's definitely he's done all of his interior ligaments in it. This isn't. I'm going to say this now. That is not an injury. That he is recovering from. Yeah, he's, he's definitely not playing. He's, playing. he's out. He's, he's, he's out playing. at least a month. At least a month. Yeah. Uh, and that's just from watching football for three decades. But if any of you are going tomorrow as well, uh, we're going as well tomorrow. So if you want to, if we'll probably be in the park before the game. Yeah. So we'll come uh, and meet tomorrow in the park. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Well, I'll, we'll get you a drink. Uh, I'll get you a drink tomorrow. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's only one of you, not a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was brilliant to be there. And I need to just say this, by the way, because I know I've been quite tough on Liverpool over the last few weeks. Uh, I sort of felt, not fell out of love with the club, I fell out of love with elite football and, and money. But do you know what, today, we went to our seat in the top of the cot, me, my father-in-law, my mum and my son for his first game. And do you know the walking football, the walking football, sorry, standing walking football, standing terracing, where did walking football come from? Standing terracing, right? It's been installed in the top of the car. But uh, the road that, that that was getting done next was my seat, it was actually the seats we were sat in, it was just concrete there, there was no seats. So I went to the steward and I said, where, where am I sitting? I ain't sitting on the floor, am I? And she went, no, no, don't worry about it, we've already got this boxed off, go and see your steward just at the bottom of the turnstile. Went down there. And she went, right, follow me. Walked us all the way down the bottom of the cot into the, uh, the little sort of like bits you get side bits. Walked us through to the main stand, got us a lift straight up, straight into where Kenny Dog Leash and all that sits. The VIP section where all the comfy seats and that are. And said, by the way, get yourself any seat you want. The food will be on at half time. Free on us, drinks on us, cups of tea, coffee, chicken goujons, rice, curry, kids trek like absolute. And I tell you what, well done Liverpool for that because that was brilliant customer service. I just want to say that anyway. Let's just read some comments. Well, they charged me £4 for the hot dog. They charged you £4 for the hot dog. Yeah, well, that's it. But yeah, but yeah. So, really, really made up. And great so, to see some old friends as well. I'm not in the same boat as you with Liverpool. I owe you four quid. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. So, yeah. here you go, comments. Lee Farley, good evening, lads. Having a great time at Anfield. Hello, Martin. It was good to see him walk off. We just have to wait and see. So can't be high lads, it looks like ankle ligament. Well I just said that, yeah, it'll definitely be high guys. Uh, I thought it was like Champions League tie first half and I'll be like, what a player, definitely. Betty and Rush was buzzing for Ryan Beck. And oh Beck Austin. played very well. He did, very yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, the news on Robert Lawrence is not good. Go go on go on the group now and look at the YouTube video we just put up and it looks it was one good run out of the boys yeah. today, yeah. Well I thought it was good to see uh, Van Dyke got 75 minutes. So obviously he only come <laughs> off for the last 15. Tomorrow you're going to see the likes of Henderson and Thiago being told to start the players. Thiago, tomorrow. Hendo, Firmino. Um, Firmino. Firmino. Um, you'll have Keller in goal, you'll have Canate in goal, Tishimikas. Tishimikas. Probably right back. Curtis is, Jones. Yeah, Curtis Jones. Maybe right the tomorrow. Polish kid. There's a few, yeah. That, that I'd like to see him tomorrow. Yeah, Musilowski. Uh, There's a few that'll be playing tomorrow still. I don't, Amigi, think, I don't think we'll Shikiri. see. I don't think we'll see Shakiri and Origi. I reckon they're going to be. They're back in England now. I reckon they'll be trying to get their moves. I, I, still, don't think think I, I still think you'll still see them playing. And Minamino as well. You'll see Minamino playing. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I'm going as well tomorrow. So yeah, you'll see us. You'll see us there if anyone. Yeah. Can, can I just just read out Jenny Hill's comment? You'll have a queue of people wondering. I'm just going to go back on that statement <laughs> now. Yeah. There'll be no drinks given out in the park hall. <laughs> Oxlade. Oxlade as well, Paul. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, you know, got a decent amount of people. Tell you what, because we've got fir- uh, you know thirty odd watching at the moment. I know sometimes a lot of these are busy. Fire away with some questions now. Of anything, if you want, and we'll sit here for another five minutes if that's all right, right? So, any questions now before we end the video? Uh, and then tomorrow, uh, I mean, I, I had to rush who, back from work today. My man of the match today was Harvey Elliott. Yeah, mine was well to be honest. Like. Harvey Elliott was my man of the match. Saying that though, Salah play. I, I, I thought Kato had a little game yeah, as well. Kato played Harvey brilliant. Kato again some today. Of the things he was in and out of play. Fit. I thought I was saying to me, I went with Grandad and he was there as well. So we were talking about it and it was saying if he stays fit, he's going to be some player because you've seen the, the footwork on him. Do you know what? I, I actually, him. I actually stand by what I said. I don't know if I said it to you, Craig, the other day, but I did. No, I said it. Yeah, I said it work as well. Everybody said to me that they don't think Virgil will start the first game of the season. No, I Burnley. didn't. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I said, no, I said oh, he no, will. No, no, yeah, he said he will. He will. Uh, and I'll tell you why, because he's just had another hour today. Right? 75 minutes. 75 minutes today. He looked good. He looked solid. 
And I, I said this, what if you went and played Matip and Canate? That's Canate play tomorrow as well. Yeah. Didn't mention that, did we? What if you played Matip and Canate and they started doing well, you're going to drop them? No. So for me, if Van Dijk is fit enough to play 75 minutes... And he nearly scored three times there, yeah. uh, that he was closer. I right think, in front of where I was. It yeah, was... I think he's going to... And just going to what you just said there about the Schimmickers proving himself. I actually don't think uh, Marley did look sharp, actually. What's that? I'll come for me drink before yeah, the Chelsea yeah. game. Well, if you come for the Chelsea game and you meet us, then you'll you'll also be able to meet Cheeky Jürgen because Cheeky Jürgen's coming yeah. to the uh, Chelsea game. So um, yeah, look for you in the park. We'll sorry, you. sorry, Miss you, Lorraine, but like I say, I, I didn't finish work till quarter past one. I had to get a taxi home, so I was rushed off my feet and had family here. So uh, yeah, if you're ever trying to bump into us as well, just just direct message us, uh, me or Neil, and of the match day when we're around Anfield, and we'll tell you where we are straight away. Um, so just for future reference in case yeah. uh, one thing I'd like to say as you can see we're wearing the new third kit uh, massive shout out to Ian Vlorden it's provided them for us and he's even put on the back but we're on. can you see it DTV TV 21 up the DTV TV so thanks to him for that and as you can see the shirts are quality uh, and also uh, what I was going to say is tomorrow we'll have more time on our hands so if you want to come and have a chat with us we'll be around the ground doing the video doing the coach welcome like we always do what time's kick off tomorrow is it uh, eight o'clock is it eight or seven i think it's seven, seven. seven, I, think, seven. I, think, I think it's seven so i'm going to be coming here to, tomorrow about, i'm going to probably get down a few hours before kick off because i need to get me parked please so we'll head to Anfield quite early for you so if you want to see us yeah send us a message tomorrow. or put something on the group where i is and we'll let you know where we are so um yeah yeah that? LC made, made a joke comment on. before the game and delayed the fans, yeah, meant, meant Tarver. <laughs> so, and they apologised after the game when they got the statement from the club. No worries. But well, anyway, like I say, uh, yeah, brilliant for the fans to be back and great to be back at Anfield. Can't, can't wait Do for... Do you think it'll be mid three of Elliot, Millie and Cater? No, the mid no, three, three no. for Norwich is going to be Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago, Thiago and Hendo. And, and um, Fabinho. Well, I don't know, Hendo hasn't played much. Maybe not Hendo. He's, he's played, played tomorrow though, isn't he? Yeah, but that's not. he's not played a lot. What's he done pre-season? The Euro was just there pre-season, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah think maybe. about it. That, like, if everyone would see, like, the other players who were, were a pre-season, Hendo and that yeah, was the we'll Euro. Yeah, we'll still, see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I, I, I think it would be Cater, Thiago and uh, Fabinho. Yeah, Cater's got a shout. A shout to start. Keep playing him. Yeah, I, th- I think the start. problem is he needs a run of games. He's got to keep playing, and I think that's just based on the fact that Hendo ain't up to speed. Yeah, because obviously, I, I think what it is with, with Cater, you don't play him enough. When he does come on, he gets injured straight yeah, away. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. So maybe games yeah, might be yeah. the best way. Cater, he's, he's Cater's got a run through yeah. this pre-season. And so he's that's been, like, yeah. Well, what we'll do is I'm going to get my board tomorrow. I'm getting a new grit, uh, one of them new tactical boards tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to do team lineups, right? So we'll do a predicted team lineup, and I'm going to do a Friday night show from now on, innit? Yeah. Obviously, you know my commitment to AFC Liverpool, and we won in the FA Cup yesterday, so we now clash again. So on the 21st of August, you're going to be at Burnley, aren't you? I'm at the match, yeah, I'm going again. He's at the match, Craig's at the match, but I'm. Uh, we've got Bootle in the next round of the FA Cup, so I will still be watching it, because I've watched it, it's a half 12 kick off, isn't it? Yeah. I'll be watching it in the bar with the AFC, AFC Liverpool players, but... I will still do my predicted lineup and preview show for Friday because I'll be still watching the yeah, game. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it. So anyway, thanks for the chat, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you soon. See you later.